Okay. Hey guys, this is Mike coming at you today from Player One Video Games. We had a crazy busy trading weekend this uh, this past weekend, so we putting it all out. Tim and Connor are exhausted. Right? Yeah, we are. <laughs> so let's start on this end with the consoles first. We got in this Halo 4 uh, 360. Um, that's a, a unique addition there. I think we have one still. Yeah, so we have a couple of those. Um, yep. a, a nice super Dreamcast. We'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. Um, and a cube. A cube and a lot of people cool. ask, we have this little um, cover yeah. for the ex expansion pack. And we've had it on our system over there you can see it for like 11 years and I never knew where it came from kind of I remember just putting it on there because my car back then I had a Mach 1 and uh 03 Mach 1 and it had a hood scoop on it and I just kind of liked it because it kind of looked like my Mach 1 you know and so I just kept it on there for years people either wanted to buy that little piece or ask where it was and I really couldn't tell you and then Tim mystery solved after yeah. all these years thanks after mad these, cats <laughs> that's it mad cats. <laughs> So we also got this uh, 360 uh, wireless, wireless adapter. adapter, and it's the dual band, uh, dual band one, so it's a little bit faster than the white one. People look for those every now and then. We used to have millions of them, and now, well, this is the only one we got, maybe, right? Yeah, some of them. So we got a lot of 3DS and DS games there. What's the best out of the yeah, bunch? Yeah, we do. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question, honestly. You know, I love my Zeldas. Uh, How did you like Ghost Trick? Ghost Trick has probably one of the best kind of uh, twist endings I've probably ever played in a game. It's a great puzzle game. I cannot recommend it anymore. It is legit really, really good. Uh, but yeah, Samus Returns, Zelda's, uh, the first three Professor Layton games. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Uh, another Heart Gold complete in box. Man, this is crazy stuff. Okami Den. Uh, Rhythm Heaven. Uh, we've had a few people look for that recently. And, uh, oh yeah, these uh, Mario games down here. The New Super Mario Bros., Mario Kart, Mario 64. Those are all technically Australian copies of the game, but they will work in American systems. That's so. right. Yeah. Uh, oh, you can never have too many missile commands. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, I was about to say, the Pokemon's more important, isn't it? Pokemon's more important than <laughs> old Missile Command. That's my old junk. Nobody likes that. <laughs> you got some nice, uh, a few nice boxed Genesis games there. Yeah. I always love the original uh, launch year type boxes. They were black with these, you know, cro the, the checker like that uh, on them. I love that look always. Um, it just, you know, reminds me of when it came out. Uh, some good stuff there. And we got one souls master system game in there then we got yeah. a mix match here in the next few stacks yeah god of war saga we haven't had in a while i know a lot of people are always looking for like the uh first two games on ps3 at mm -hmm. least so we got those uh chibi robo uh metro prime hunters first uh hunt is also australian but uh, oh hey look a sealed god of war saga Nice. Yeah, exactly. Thirty nine ninety nine. Well, not quite. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> and a sealed San Andreas. And that one's sealed too. Yep. Uh, let's go back over over here. Let's we don't here. get those hacks much anymore. <laughs> yeah, we really don't. Uh, a Japanese Game Gear version of Columns. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it will work on American ones. It will. Okay, yep. that's neat. We did try that at least. You know, uh, out of these Dreamcast games, I want to mm -hmm. talk about this one for just a minute. Sonic Adventure? The Sonic Adventure. Oh, right, yeah. On the Dreamcast in 9999, right? Mm -hmm. That was a wonderful day. Uh, I had been waiting on that day my whole life because, <laughs> for, you know, for since, since probably the Sega CD in 93, everybody was wanting and the, and the PC was getting better and the arcades was getting better and you could see things were just moving to 3D and, and to almost you know the HD quality of stuff and when the Dreamcast came out on that day actually I had imported it before it came out in America so I was getting a taste of it but the games were real sparse like I only had Godzilla Generations which was eh, and then Sega Rally which was okay it didn't really showcase the game but when this game came out what was you know what the most it's a wonderful game I love the Sonic uh, game but the thing that struck me the most about this game was the grass and <laughs> when I saw the grass and, and it, it was the first time 
it di it didn't look like flat yeah. the PS1 it, it, like, surf. Just a really bad texture. Yeah, like AstroTurf yeah. or something. <laughs> this was the first one I went, whoa, real grass. It looks like real grass. And, you know, and this game, you know, the Dreamcast still holds up today. I always tell everybody, hey, if the Dreamcast graphics, uh, 3D quality graphics stopped in at the Dreamcast, I'd be happy. It's it's that good to me, at least. And the game play is excellent. Uh, but saying that i was really impressed with the grass <laughs> yeah and speaking of sonic we also got sonic adventure 2 on dreamcast house of the dead 2 nightmare creatures 2 hey dot hack how about that it does have the anime dvd with it hey should i let twan in uh yeah probably he's been waiting hey, outside for yeah, a little bit at least we're not open yet come on in, come on. we're in the middle of shooting the video <laughs> Oh, you didn't have to let me. Yeah, I was like, I was just letting you guys wait. But we're still going. We're still going. Exactly. Oh, we're still recording we right now. Yeah. It's here. We can never have enough Ikarugas. Uh, Wind Waker. Uh, oh, the Zelda Collector's Edition is complete. Has the manual with it. Uh, Twilight Princess. Prime. That'll that'll go fast at least. Oh, Bayonetta uh, two does have the first game along with it. So, yeah, take a look. There yeah, we there we go. Big money right awesome there. Game. Yeah, I love the first one. The first one's one of my favorites of all time. Uh, Modern Warfare 2, a hardened edition of that. I don't know the last time we got that in. So, and come we'll, on down to, to Player <laughs> One. It'll be a great time.